bunch of cars come from here they drive by right there is the back of the truck well that's actually a tent but right <laughs> right there is the back of the truck it's gonna fall out the tailgate all of this soil here gets carved out so that's gonna get pushed way back right up basically to the back side of the truck big waterfall there then the waterfall is gonna come twist and turn this way all of this soil gets knocked out too in fact you see where this orange line is it all gets dug back about eight feet that way so we have a lot to do as far as excavation then there's another big waterfall dropping this way which will be visible as those cars drive by and then there'll be another one back in here that's actually going to come out from the center of the truck so there's the front of the truck and look at the detail but how cool is this that you guys get to see it at this stage before the top goes on and everything else Hey everybody, it's Brian with Team Aquascape. I am out here in Prescott, not Prescott, like it's spelled, it's pronounced Prescott, Arizona. I'm out here for one reason, because Chris Miller, if you guys don't remember Chris Miller, Chris Miller is the unbelievable stonemason that did that stone truck not too long ago. You remember that one over in Midland, Odessa, Texas over there. Well, we hit it off so well, he invited me to come back out and repeat what we did out there in Texas, out here in Prescott, Arizona. So he's got a big old, Ford pickup truck going in. It's at a 125% scale, so it is big. And I'm out here just kind of making sure all of our materials out here. Really, really wanted to put my eyes on the site because you never know how things are gonna change and pictures never do things justice. For example, they said it was gonna go into a gas station. And in my mind, I picture a gas station slash car wash and how big they are back home. And it's nothing like the size of this place. So this is not just gonna be a gas station. There's a Starbucks, there's an A&W root beer, there's a jewelry store, I have no idea, but you can tell that there's a lot of real estate here for different buildings, different businesses, and it's gonna be at a main intersection. So there's Chris Miller, the man, the myth, the legend himself, sitting over there, working along with some helpers. He's got Jared and Martin, Martin from England, Jared from Vermont, out here helping him put that whole thing together. But underneath that giant tarp tent is another one of his customers custom creations. And look at the intersection it's gonna come from. In fact, I'm even gonna take you over there and show you how the view of this thing's gonna be. So, a bunch of cars come from here, they drive by. Right there is the back of the truck. Well, that's actually a tent, but right, <laughs> right there is the back of the truck. It's gonna fall out the tailgate. All of this soil here gets carved out, so that's gonna get pushed way back, right up basically to the back side of the truck. Big waterfall there. Then the waterfall is gonna come twist and turn this way. All of this soil gets knocked out too. In fact, you see where this orange line is? It all gets dug back about eight feet that way. So we have a lot to do as far as excavation. Then there's another big waterfall dropping this way, which will be visible as those those cars drive by and then there'll be another one back in here that's actually gonna come out from the center of the truck now let's sneak in there and see if you guys can see that any better from inside but we'll have the typical waterfall <laughs> it's so funny because I say typical like you've seen this a bunch of times before but the one other time we did it we had water coming off the tailgate we're gonna do that again but this time we're gonna have a lot of other waterfalls coming from around the truck just really trying to grab everybody's attention from this intersection really trying to pull people in into the whole little building thing they got going on over here. Let's go inside, meet these guys. So here's actually a layout they've got all set out here. Here's that truck dropping into a pool. So dropping off the tailgate, dropping into a big giant pool, drop it again, twisting, turning around. The only thing is instead of it finishing all the way in front, it's probably gonna finish more like here so we can get another big waterfall coming this way. So there's the front of the truck. And look at the detail, but how cool is this that you guys get to see it at this stage before the top goes on and everything else. Here's Jared. Jared, right? Yeah. <laughs> Jared, you're from... Uh... All right. So Chris convinced you somehow to come out here and do this again. Yeah, on the trucks that are larger scale, he brings me in to help with rigging. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> slinging these... Does he, does he twist your arm like he twists mine? No, we just like... Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you say, Chris. Yeah. He just gives us little treats. So tell me what kind of goes into this. So I see you measuring, I see you leveling, you're using shims, you're using glue. Sure, sure. The, Chris is looking for uh, dark highlights scattered about. The, what we're doing is random to course. So instead of just running straight lines yep. 
that way through. We have jumpers in all about. Has it all figured out for us. It's oh, like, there's a pattern to like go a, off of. Not, not really. He's like, think like think this. Think like this. Think so like it's really this. not paint by numbers. It's no. <laughs> no. We were, no. Definitely, we're definitely building it. But yeah, I can, sure. I can tell. And I saw you over here. You've got your tools. Yeah, Trout and Holden, all these wicked nice tools that Chris brought out. I, I, I flew out, so I didn't, couldn't bring any of my stuff with me. Um, he yeah, ships it all out on the 18 wheeler. Kit, kit apart. That's go. crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. So it's absolutely amazing. So some of the stuff, like like the fenders, are pre-built back at Chris's shop. Some of the headlights and the grills, yep. but the entire cab of the truck is actually hand-built on site. And uh, they just sit here with these stone chisels and chip away, and kind of they all have the same vision in their head, much like we do when we're building waterfalls. And and I think what's neat about the way Chris works is it's the same way we work. It's all about the team that you bring together to get this stuff done. That's awesome. Well, let's go check in with Chris. Thanks, Jared. These guys, these are the two of the top stone wall, dry stone wall people in the country. This is a sculpture, it's not a dry stone wall. But the reason I have these guys in here is I can sort of teach them what they need to know about how to shape granite, it's not something they usually use. But they have the eye of how to pattern stones together randomly, yep. and that's not easy to do. No, so it's, it's sort of like hiring Aquascape because they're professionals who know what they're doing. You hire these guys and you can step back and just every once in a while you look at them like, okay, a little bit more here or there. But they have the eye a hundred percent. So Chris, I don't know if you heard me talking to Jared over there, but <laughs> I did not hear. So Chris, what I was talking with Jared about over there was obviously you're the mastermind behind this, but you can only do so much by yourself and it's all about the team and no, you guys actually work a lot like we do. Like yep. I could build the waterfall by yourself, not really. <laughs> so I bring in a team and so we've got Jack, you know, from Atlanta's coming yep. out. We got Ralph coming out yep. from Pondscapes and working with talented people makes it go that much easier and sharing the vision right so Absolutely. they've worked with you enough now that they share the same vision that yes. you've got and they yep. know how to do this which is so so important you want to work with professionals yeah you really don't want to mess around well this is a huge undertaking this I think you told me this is at 125 yes, percent scale and not only that it's a, it's a 53 Chevy and he put it it's a replica of the client's car but his 53 is on a, like a 74 four-wheel drive chassis. Uh -huh. They didn't have four-wheel drive in the 1950s. And it's jacked up. So you have this massive wheel wells, and his truck is, is <laughs> this is just a little bit of an exaggeration of what his truck is. But it's, it's supposed to look lifted and jacked. And you get this, you know, two and a half feet of air underneath here. And this is a different design than every one of them yep. has changed. And what I did with Tony Sargent in yep. Georgia was a solid foundation all around with a solid infill. And then I said, I want light to come through here. So the next one in Maryland had it cantilevered out over the front foundation. And then I said, you know, if I'm doing that with a metal frame, why can't I do that with the one in Texas? Has the number of blocks that are between the wheels. So you can see them this way, but you couldn't see them that way. And this one's fully suspended. It looks like all the weight on the wheels. It does. Top. It really I mean, you really can't see it. And what are those? 30 magic. Are those 36 inch wheels? They are 32 originals so they're 40 inch. 40, 40, 40 inches. inches. These are 1,800 pounds a piece. Oh my God, you said about three days per, per wheel, three, three and a half? carbon per, per oh wheel. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just amazing. Yeah. So this frame that's holding this thing up, it's 47,500 pounds of stone <laughs> was shipped here. So it might be a few thousand less with the scrap on the ground. But it'll be 45,000 pounds or so when it's done. Well, I think what's gonna be nice is actually lifting this one up a little higher gives us the opportunity to actually get water to come kind of up and underneath this a little bit more with almost like another waterfall right where Jared's sitting then facing towards the intersection over there. So not only will we get a big waterfall coming out from this area, we're gonna get a big one coming off the tailgate. And every single one of these, you're learning a little bit more. So yeah. this one, we've got a different plan for the liner inside. And I'm not even gonna to try to explain <laughs> to our customers how that goes, we'll have pictures, right? We'll <laughs> it's challenging. It, I could just say it's challenging, but here's a quick look at the inside, the interior of this. This is the sausage side. 
Yeah. I would explain it to you, and then one of you guys would go out and try to do it, and they probably okay. still fail. So there's no sense in doing that. <laughs> I must say, one of the things about the collaboration with having the really good people here, that one of the reasons I like working with Aquascape is because I know you guys, what you can do and what you can't do, which is almost nothing. But I can take my vision, plunk it here, take what the client general idea wants to do, throw in my two cents and what I think should happen, and then stand back and watch you guys come in. I watched you come in this morning and your eyes light up. Holy <laughs> shit, look at the size of this thing. <laughs> and like, okay, we can have this come here. And then with the road here, we're gonna have lots of splash here. Why don't we add this here? And I can just stand back and trust that your artistic vision is gonna blend as a collaboration with this. Very comfortable. I know this is our second project together, your third project with certified Aquascape contractors. Absolutely. And it feels like this is probably just the beginning of a beautiful relationship. We've got a bunch of other stuff we wanna do together. There's a big project in Chicago. Hopefully. Yeah. And there's five more trucks and maybe more vehicles. And every one of them is gonna have a water feature and every one of them is gonna be Aquascape. That's no, no awesome. question. Well, it looks amazing. You can see how much work and effort goes into this. It's not something where you just pick up a kit at Home Depot and, and slap it together. <laughs> Martin over here is all the way from England. And so you're working on the other side over here. Yep. Wow. Look, I mean, this is insane to me right here, how tight these joints are. And so you got into this because you guys build dry stack walls all over the place and you're out of Tennessee now? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I've been a long time field waller in England. All right. In, near Sheffield, Derbyshire, England. So my life was just repairing farm walls. And then I decided I wanted to move out to America. Why not? And I end up involved in stuff like this. It is a world away. Yeah. I love it. It's amazing. The, the attention to detail you guys have on this is just insane. Well, I think it's about 12 o'clock, and I'm only here for a day, so let's go grab some lunch and give you guys a little break. And I can't wait to come back with Jack and Ralph, the rest of Ralph's crew, and see how far they've gotten in a short amount of time. They've only got another week before we get here, exactly seven days before we get here. And to me, it seems like an extraordinary amount, but they've already gotten that much done in a single week. So I have total faith it's gonna be awesome. You guys hopefully enjoy this video as much as we enjoy putting this stuff together and that's that hey let's go check out the rocks really quick while we're here just make sure we have enough and then we'll go get some lunch all right so robert the owner of this mega gas station car wash retail outlet slash restaurant facility <laughs> went out and actually handpicked a bunch of these boulders and these are beautiful pictures never do stuff justice that's why i wanted to see them he's got some really nice gorgeous tall ones which we're going to need we also need some small ones so those pallets back in there are all small we've got a couple medium ones my biggest worry is we don't have enough medium ones, but there's some really, really cool stones in here. That one is awesome though. Look at that one, holy cow. If that doesn't scream waterfall, the different ledges we've got in here, the natural high spot on there, we just need to frame out this side and then we'll be able to get something really cool working its way down and off of that. Probably get something in front of it over here to kind of frame out that water moving off at this side, but that's definitely gonna be used as a waterfall. I can see that one maybe even coming right up to it. Gosh, look at how they're meant to be together. Just slide that over. Whoop. That becomes a waterfall. That's a really cool looking boulder. You got some really nice flat stuff to work with. In fact, a lot of flat stuff to work with. You might just need a couple more medium ones. God, some of these are just beautiful. Like even this one, natural high spot, just letting water kind of move down this and then eventually falling off. Yeah, this should work out really, really well for us. Well, I'm so excited. Just looking for some uh, some medium sized stuff. You can see a lot of this stuff is just absolutely enormous, which is good because it'll take up huge sections of the wall pretty quick. Can't wait. 